Alright guys, we're here with the Vortex crew getting the Impact 4000 GB uh, all set up. Um, have it set up on the Seekins Hit uh, 6.5 PRC. It's going to be my uh, hunting rifle, so figured, hey, why not put this uh, awesome piece of equipment. Um, we're not going to go through all the setup today because it's a, there, there is a few things that you got to do to get set up, but we'll put a link down below. Tucker and the guys at Vortex have a very, like, literally in tune how to get it set up, so we'll leave that to the professionals. So. Go there to check it out. Um, Tucker got this all dialed in for us uh, already, so we're going to start off this video by showing you a quick uh, how to dial it into 400 yards, how quick it works, and if we did things right, it should hit. <laughs> I think we did things right. It really, sh <laughs> it really shortens the time frame in which you can find a target, range a target, get your ballistic information, and then engage that. You can really, once you kind of fine tune the process, you can really push the button on the remote, get the range, and shoot within just a couple seconds versus having two or three pieces of kit. Uh, it really streamlines that process. So I think Chuck's going to shoot a little for us. Let's yeah. see what happens. So I think we'll start up, up right up over here. We'll range a target up here, shoot shoot up there. We'll kind of like simulate, hey, we have a yardage all set up for this, and all of a sudden a big bull comes over here. So we'll shoot the target still, but then we'll see, show you how we can just maneuver the gun over here, get a new range, and uh, make the adjustments on the gun. So, so you got it on already. Uh, you got the remote. Yeah. All right, so part of the setup that you'll part of the setup that you'll see in the other video is that you put it to the. You always want to go back to zero because you set this up at a hundred and you have that zero. Um, so all I we I have my button set up over here. So when I'm on target, I just press that button, holding it right on the silhouette. Three hundred ninety-five yards. So give you your data good. there, right? Yeah. So one of the things Chuck mentioned is you always want to be on zero when you are ranging to get data. The reason being, anytime this is dialed, you're moving the reticle down, which means you're moving the laser up. Uh, and then you'll be ranging behind it. So there's two ways to account for that. You can always dial back to zero and then range. Or if your reticle has you know information above the crosshairs, you can always hold under what you have dialed in the turret and get the same effect. So two ways to do that. One's a little easier. Uh, one just takes a little more practice. Uh, both work you know, the, just the, the same. The pros can do the holdovers, but <laughs> <laughs> us, uh, us uh, beginners here. Uh, yeah, we, so we got, a one seven, <laughs> we got a 173 on here, so 1.567, and we should be on. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, you're going to shoot that. You might as well shoot it. I got to shoot it. <laughs> got to shoot it. Pressure's on. Got, got to prove that it works. Right? America's watching. That's a clean dead, impact. Dead center. All right, so to show you how effortless, we should be able to just shift this thing over. All right, just got to get on the target, hit my little button here. 702, 4.48 clicks, get that dialed in, and we should be good to go here. Impact. So what's cool about this, we don't have a lot of wind out here today, but it also has onboard, you know, barometric pressure, density altitude, wind direction. You can do a lot of that. 
Uh, a lot of our other range finders, you can do wind bear and capture, so you actually point the device into the wind. This being attached to a rifle, it's not always okay to do that. So you would just tap the weather button and you, there's a little clock feature. You would point the hand into the wind and then enter the miles per hour and it'll automatically, you know, when you point your rifle in different directions, it will account for the wind change and, and you know, for your ballistic solution, it'll display that in here as well. Today's pretty calm, so we don't have a lot of that to deal with, but worth mentioning. So we saw Grantham out here doing some testing with the military scope. Is there some of the military stuff kind of, is that kind of how you develop some of this stuff or is it co-developed? It's, or? I mean, it is very different, but yeah. this is kind of more geared towards like a civilian model right. of that, right? Obviously it's going to be more limited than something that they would need, but it does do a lot of the same thing. It gives you kind of that, like almost like the cheat code. So. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people, so in a lot of states, you're not allowed to use anything electronic in a scope to hunt, right? So yeah. they were very careful to keep this as a standalone unit. It would be very similar as you going out into the woods with just a standalone range finder yep. uh, it just happens to be attached to the rifle and using the reticle to aim yep. so yeah I mean for me uh, yes I do shoot and stuff like that but you know shooting long range we had it set up early, earlier um, you'll see some of that footage but we were shooting you know 1100 yards like you know, it's just dialing everything in it's so much fun yeah, but, it really streamlines yeah. <laughs> that process right especially for begin. Yeah, I would say more of a beginner you know Tucker can do all this stuff by you know pretty much by feel but you know some of us entry level people have been shooting for a lot of years I mean but it's not very comfortable to shoot 1100 yards it's just just makes it a lot more simple to do that for Gus guys like me you know kind of the average Joe going out and want to shoot long range you know this makes you this makes you a little bit better of a shooter <laughs> yeah, if just, anything it just gives you the confidence you yeah know? and one thing to keep in mind is in any ballistic solver doesn't matter if it's ours or anybody else's if you put garbage into the machine you're going to get garbage <laughs> out so yeah. make sure you go to vortex vortexoptics.com watch those videos get it set up correctly and then you shouldn't have to mess with it uh going forward yeah and we'll put the link in the bio and they really do have a good customer support team so if you have any issues with it um, we do sell these we have a full lineup we sell everything vortex sells on middletonoutdoors.com including these so again we do free shipping across the country and we guarantee the lowest pricing uh map pricing on our website so we'll be happy to take care of you guys and know that we're hey we're in the in the land of vortex here in wisconsin so we're uh you know getting the support appreciate it pretty man. much right here but you know thanks for watching and you know again we'll put more links and stuff down below and uh you can enjoy watching some more of us shooting down range we got some drone footage and all that kind of stuff so thanks for tuning in you guys